Uh, this is a 55-year-old who presented with nocturia and a PSA of 4.5, and a digital rectal exam revealed a T2 area of hardness. Uh, biopsy was positive for Gleason 3 plus 3, uh, now called uh, combined Gleason score of, of 1. Uh, clinical stage was T1C, but he had a lump, uh, so maybe it was a D2. Uh, patient went on active surveillance. About a year later, his PSA had risen to 10. Repeat biopsy now showed 4 plus 3, um, and 8 out of the 12 cores were positive. So the, the patient clearly had probably more advanced disease. Whether it was there before or not is hard to be sure. Uh, he was asymptomatic and he started on gucerolin. Uh, about uh, six months or so la later, uh, his PSA did not go down. Unusual, uh, PSA in fact rose to be 34. So you have a case almost of de novo resistance to hormone therapy. That should only occur in about 5% or less of patients. Uh, CT scan was negative. Um, so, because the PSA was rising, they began him on abiraterone and prednisone. Uh, within a short period of time, although his PSA declined to 15, he had a cardiac arrhythmia, which does occur with abiraterone. So, the treating physician decided to switch to uh, enzalutamide. Again, a perfectly appropriate uh, decision. Uh, enzalutamide uh, did not uh, have any negative effects, but also did not lower the PSA much. So now um, another three, four months goes by and the patient begins to develop back pain or not even back pain, just sort of an achiness and some mild fatigue. The doc sa says, well, let's re-image. CT scan shows uh, bone metastases, uh, a fluoride pet bone, scan uh, confirms um, uh, lumbar and pelvic bony metastatic disease. PSA is up to 45, and the ALKFOS is starting to rise. So the patient has symptoms, mostly fatigue, but also a rising PSA, new findings on x-rays, new findings on the fluoride PET. At that point, it's extremely appropriate to begin uh, radium-223, patient develops uh, a drop in the PSA, which isn't that common with radium. Normally, the PSA does not drop much, but it fell from 45 to 25. His ALKFOS comes down into the normal range, um, and uh, his uh, symptoms of fatigue begin to improve. He's had four doses, so the, the questions are, was this the right sequencing? Should he get additional radium, uh, et cetera? So we're going to cover some of those topics.